Okay, you need your autumn wardrobe at the moment out rather than your late spring one, don't you? It's cool. It's wet and given the tightly packed isobars here, it's unseasonably windy at the moment. We've had gusts close to 90 miles an hour. It, granted at the needles on the Isle of Wight, but many other exposed areas such as the Clean Peninsula in Wales have been close to 70 miles an hour and inland 50 miles an hour. That's unusual. That's a land gale, particularly unusual for late May. And overnight, that northerly wind sets in more widely. Things start to dry up a little in the northwest, so we could expect a frost potentially for some of the glens of Scotland. But for many, we keep a lot of cloud, wind and rain still as we approach the first part of our weekend. So still a lot of cloud for England and Wales as we start Saturday. But it's a brightening process, a drying up process as well and becomes less windy. However, it looks as if we could see more rain, still more May rain to come on Sunday. Sophie, it's felt a little more like autumn outside today than late spring. These are some of the gusts of wind that we've seen in more exposed areas, but even inland they've been gusting to 45, 50 miles an hour. And it's because we've got this unseasonably deep area of low pressure, which thankfully for many is moving out the way into the North Sea for tomorrow, but it allows a northerly wind in. It will take its weather fronts with, the front, with it as well, because since rain started in Kapilkinig yesterday, we've had over 100 millimetres of rain. So yet more soaking conditions for this May. Hello there, a very good evening to you. Please don't blame me for the weather today. It really has been horrible for everybody. We have had gale force gusts, snow in northeastern Scotland on the top of the Cairngorm Mountains, five to 10 centimetres, not usual in the middle of May. And some parts of Cumbria and much of Wales have seen more than four inches of rain in the last 24 hours. It really has been thoroughly miserable. Something a little bit brighter, drier and less windy on the cards for tomorrow, but I'm afraid we see a return of the wet and windy conditions from the west on Sunday but things do look like they're going to improve as we look towards next week so don't lose hope all the time those systems are starting to move in from the west bringing a return of the wet and windy conditions so confirmation of that on our summary chart for Sunday I hope you enjoy the weekend despite the weather see you later bye bye <laughs> Victoria was going to say that definitely waterproof footwear was uh, definitely needed today. The rain will ease for tomorrow, the winds as well. We've got more rain on the way later on Sunday. So let's have a look at the forecast. We've still got that wind warning from the Met Office out for gusty winds this evening. Quite interesting to see Alice being able to keep that umbrella up, actually, because it's been a very gusty, blustery old day. And there's lots of rainfall and that's all circulating the area of low pressure and heading its way across the southeast of England. So more rain to come this evening and more rain overnight, as well as those strong and gusty winds. Which